Hey, what's up everybody? It's Taos with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to turn the fingerprint scanner on your Galaxy device into a capacitive home button. Now the home button on Galaxy devices has a lot of good uses. It obviously takes you home, it wakes your device, and on newer models it even serves as a fingerprint scanner. But the problem I've always had with it is that it's nothing like any of the other ways that you interact with your phone. You touch the back button, you touch the recent apps button, you touch anything on the screen, but you have to physically depress this home button to make it do anything. Well developer Juomo has come up with a great way to smooth out that inconsistency by turning the fingerprint scanner on newer Galaxy devices into a capacitive home button. So as long as your Galaxy device comes with a fingerprint scanner built into the home button, you can simply touch that area to perform all the same actions. To get this one going, you don't need to be rooted or anything, you just need to install a free app called Easy Home for Samsung. I have this download page linked out at the full tutorial on GadgetX, so head over there to get started and we'll see what it's all about. Now when you first launch the app, you'll have to accept the license agreement, but from there it's pretty easy to set up. Just tap this Start the App button in the top left corner, then you'll be asked to activate the app as the device administrator. So press the Activate button on this screen. From here you're ready to go, you can use the app right now if you want to, but there are some additional settings that you should probably check out. By default the capacitive features are set to only serve as a home button, but you can add some extra functionality to it as well. If you like, you can enable this second option, and when you long touch the home button, your screen will lock. Then these next two options will only work if you do not use the fingerprint lock mechanism on your phone. The first one will actually wake your device by touching that home button, and the second one will put it back to sleep if you only wanted to check the time real quick. But you should note that I did purchase the Pro version for $1.69, so some of these features may not be available in the free version of Easy Home. With everything set up though, you're ready to go, so let me show you how it works. Basically, when you want to go to the home screen, you just touch the home button rather than press it, and the same action will be performed. Then if you set up some of the other options, you can long press the home button to turn the screen off. Then you can touch it again to wake the device, and touch it one more time to put it back to sleep. So it's a really cool little app that offers some awesome and unique functionality. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!